GLOBE program is uh, global learning and observations that benefit the environment. Uh, the kids um, make measurements uh, on atmospheric pressure, on, on rainwater, on, on uh, temperature, ambient temperature, and they, they distribute this data on a NASA website. And the data is, uh, is, is joined to, to one unit and uh, people can analyze the data. Scientists, uh, climatologists can then have a, have a global resource to, to evaluate whether, whether uh, the weather and whether it's changing. In Khura village, they believe that the GLOBE project is a very important project to them, which is implemented in their syllabus, especially, especially in the science uh, and technology. Today I also discovered that GLOBE also is connected to other projects which are very green environmentally, especially uh, recycling and different uh, ecological activities in the school. Uh, I'm very happy that this, by this project, uh, the, the students, the teachers, the community are aware of the climate changes, of the biodiversity in this unique place. You see through the GLOBE program emphasizing environmental awareness, environmental monitor monitoring, how, it, how it's not really a special effort anymore for the kids to, to protect the environment. It becomes sort of a lifestyle and that's really what you, what you want to emphasize at a young age where it's, for us older people, it's, it's, it's an effort to recycle, it's an effort to, to do all the things to protect our environment. It's, it's, we, through these, these programs, it's really going to become second nature for the, for the young folks. And uh, it, it really gives you a great deal of optimism for the future. And that's, uh, it's something I think we can all be excited about uh, through the GLOBE program. Watch the children take readings and see them engaged in science and in learning. It's a very important program because it integrates both pure science learning and mathematics, sometimes English. It can be an interdisciplinary tool. And we're very happy that the Ministry of Education in Israel participates and helps the embassy in implementing this aspect of our science diplomacy. Yeah.